After two years licking its wounds, the world's second largest private equity firm is making a comeback. Carlisle Group co-founder Bill Conway sat down for an exclusive and rare interview with our own Christina Aleshi and spoke with uh, Christina spoke with him about his plans for fundraising, for investing, perhaps an IPO as soon as next year. Christina, why don't we start with the fundraising conversation because Carlisle uh, has built up uh, some pretty big funds, but it hasn't stopped, has it? No, it has not. The, the, it's a very interesting question because yesterday, uh, Henry Kravis of KKR came out at the Goldman Sachs conference and said they're going to start raising their next flagship fund in 2011. And because all of these firms have put off plans to raise their next flagship fund, everybody thought 2011 was going to be the year that they would go out. But what Conway said, which was unexpected, is that they are going to wait until 2011, which means their 2012, next... 2012, you mean? Uh, I'm sorry, yes, yeah, 2012, sorry. Um, so th what that basically means is they will not, they're trying to time it so they're not in the market and fundraising from private investors when everybody Everybody, everybody else, else is. is. Now, right. Did you get a sense from him as to whether the next flagship fund is going to be upwards of 20 billion like the last ones? <laughs> uh, he hopes so, but th that's highly unlikely. I mean, if they were going to go out in 2011, he did admit it would be considerably smaller. So I guess by waiting, they're hoping that, it, that they could reach that level again. But to be honest with you, Carlisle's fundraising model is so much different than all of the other firms. Carlisle really is sort of and they hate this term, but it's, it's almost like a franchise, right? They have small funds all around the world, and that's how they expect to, to really build on that model so they can take bite-sized chunks, but in the aggregate, you get a big, a big uh, pool of money. Christina, we've made a whole lot of the fact that this is a rare and exclusive interview, but it is, everybody. Christina spoke to Bill Conway about emerging markets. Listen in. Emerging markets are a great place to invest, and I think they're particularly great on a risk-adjusted basis. The... Uh, they're not as risky as everybody thinks they are, partly because of their growth and partly because we're all linked together anyway. So I'm, I'm a big believer in emerging markets, uh, China, Brazil, and India in particular. So in 2011, are we going to see investments in places that you haven't invested before? I hope so. There are, I think there are great opportunities, particularly in, in some of the larger Asian uh, markets like Indonesia, Vietnam, maybe Eastern Europe. We're also beginning to look pretty hard at Africa, too, and a little early there, but I think great opportunity in the long run. Great demographics, natural resources, good opportunity over time. But if the risk premium has come down on those investments, does that mean that there are less returns there as well? To some extent it does, but what I really meant to say is that I do think that the the perceived risk premium is actually still pretty high. And I think the actual risk premium is, is lower. And therefore, someone like us is, is really trying to earn that extra return for our investors.